Hey guys, Mr. Robbo and what I'm here to do today is to create a little screencast or recording of how you can potentially use a Nintendo Wiimote uh, like this one here uh, to analyse the forces that are present within our world. Now this has numerous applications for physical education and science, mathematics and even you could even link it with English in terms of the reporting that goes along with it. Um, Basically it's an idea that it's not something I can take credit for. I got the idea from Ben Jones, someone I know, a fellow PE teacher who showed me how it was possible and just how wonderful something like this would actually be. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up. Obviously it assumes that you have purchased one of these devices. Um, you can get them for around about $60. And what they have inside them is a Bluetooth um, connection and they have an infrared um, emitting light sensor that doesn't actually get used for what we're about to show you the most important part probably is the bluetooth um, connection and it also has an accelerometer in it which makes it aware of itself in time and space so as you move it it knows exactly whereabouts it is and can feed those um, figures back to the computer which is how this next thing um, is quite important so i'm going to go on and show you just exactly how you would set it up and connect it to your computer and then uh, we'll have a look at what it actually does so okay so start off by going to the control panel and if you're in classic view you'll be under bluetooth devices just double click that so we need to actually set up so that this device can be found by our computer now obviously you need to have a bluetooth connectivity in your computer and if you have that, then it's possible to connect them. So to set it up, I simply press add, and it's going to ask me whether my device is set up and ready to be found, which it is. And in order to make it ready to be found, I simply just press a couple of buttons and you see it starts flashing blue. And it can then be searched by the computer. And to make sure that it, it can be found, I just always keep pressing the button just to make sure that it, it stays on and doesn't automatically turn itself off. So here's the devices that's discovered. You can see the Nintendo's right there. And if we double click that, it brings up this next section. Now I don't want to use a pass key, so I go down to the bottom and hit next. And I keep pressing those buttons so that it doesn't turn itself off while it's installed. I don't want that to happen. So it's, it's installing the device at the moment. And as you can see, it's finished. I hit finish. And it's still, it will still go through a bit of a process, but it should now be ready to to get it active and working. Okay, very good. Now, once you've downloaded the software, you simply go into the folder where it is, turn on your device, and go into the Wii Analyzer program. And oh, it says no Wii detected. Just give it a couple more seconds. Okay. So we should be right now to double click on the program and if it opens up and it's successful and it has, it will turn our controller to the number one um, slot there, which lets you know that it's basically connected and there's information being sent there. If it's flashing, then you know it's probably not connected and this software program won't actually load up. So once the program is loaded up, um, you can just enlarge it if you like. And basically what this is, it's just a, a logging feature. And when you hit A, which is the big button on the front of the Wii, it'll start the process of logging um, the different information that this thing can pull out. Now it pulls out roll, which is how much the Wiimote rolls, left or right. It also pulls out pitch, so how much it moves up and down like that. And it maps the acceleration along horizontal axes from left to right, horizontal axes from front to back, and vertical axes from up and down. Okay, so I'll press A now and have a bit of a look at it moving. You see as I move it, it actually changes. I hold it still. The graph stays still. If I start rolling it, you can have a look down at the bottom figures and you can see that roll is really really moving and pitch isn't 
if I start moving it like this, pitch is having a massive change. If I go very, very rapid, you can see it's got a massive change in, in both of them. Do 360 degree spins, and you can see the figures are basically changing. So this is perfect for, for studying um, any sort of physics or biomechanics or mathematics or anything related to science and it would be a perfect way to gather information from the real world. Once you've finished to, and stop, want to stop logging and get your results, you simply hit A again. Now you've got a couple options there. You can view the Wii log, which would be numerical data, or you can hit draw chart in Excel. And you see here that it actually brings up Microsoft Excel and there's a graph of the session we just did then. You know, there's obviously the different um, axes that the x axis, y axis, and z axis, um, and you can use that to interpret the data. There's obviously g force along here and time along the bottom. Obviously, um, that could be very useful for a lot of different things. Just a couple of ideas I have for my biomechanics class in which I'll be using this in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm planning on putting it inside a foam ball, which again is another idea I borrowed off Ben Jones, and getting kids to throw it around and seeing what effects they have, what effects throwing and catching has on the line and the forces that are applied, and that should in turn help us understand how forces work and that links with biomechanics and the body, so which would be a very, very powerful thing. You know, there's also numerous applications in physics. Um, I've been talking to my physics teacher at my school who's going to, looking forward to using it to study how um, G-forces work. Um, so yeah, basically very, very simple to do. The program's free. All it requires is a Wii controller and a Bluetooth connection on your computer, and you're away. You can create um, you know, professional level quality um, data logger for about $60 um, so I hope you can find some use in it and if you can think of another way that it could be used let me know on my blog I'd be really like to, um, to hear how people are, are managing to use it